main deserved red, United Slip Up and Crystal Palace are already shot, 9 things we took away from this Premier League weekend. You missed it, didn't you? Good old Premier League. Like a reliable old friend, the top flight of English football never lets you down, never fails to deliver on controversy, netbusters and talking points. Sadio Mane had to be sent off for his high kick on Ederson. Phil Jones was outmuscled as Eric Maxim Chupo moting headed Stoke level. Exclusive offer, bet £5, get a free £10 bet. International football, well, it's alright, but it's just not the same. And with our familiar old chum back in the limelight. Sun Sport takes a look at the biggest issues from the weekend. Did Sadio Mane deserve to be sent off? He had his eyes on the ball, fair enough. He never intended it, nobody could argue that. But if you lift your foot that high, you're asking for trouble. And with Manchester City keeper Anderson racing out to head the ball clear, the studs did the rest. Referee John Moss had little choice, he had to reach for the red card for serious foul play. Despite the outcry from several former pros, including Rio Ferdinand, Alan Shearer and Gary Neville, the referee had to side with player safety. Phil Jones was left on his backside as Eric Maxim Chupo moting. Eric Bailey switched off for Stokes opener at the Bet 365 Stadium. United's defense lets them down. Phil Jones has improved. There is no doubt about it, the Englishman looks more aware, more in control, more organized and is making good decisions. But he still has the capacity to make a hash of it. For Stokes opener on Saturday. The defender was caught under a high cross field pass to the full back. While it was United's entire defense that switched off, Jones was sucked five yards too far forward and when the cross came in for the opener, he was nowhere to be seen to kill the cross at the near post. And Eric Bailey had switched off as well as Eric Maxim Chupo Moting ghosted in for a bread and butter finish. Stoke 2-2 Manchester United, Eric Maxim Chupo Moting double denies Red Devils all three points in Premier League thriller. Then, with United 2-1 up, Jones and Jose Moreno will simply be disappointed that the lost his footing at the crucial moment. Marking Chupo Moting from a corner. The 25-year-old had a banana skin moment when he should have challenged the Cameroonian in the air. United also still have the problem of an unsettled left back. Luke Shaw played against Arsenal reserves on Friday and does not look match fit, while Daly Blind and Matteo Darmian don't look like the right fit. In case you haven't seen the news, Frank De Boer has been sacked by Crystal Palace. Chairman Steve Parrish has finally decided to pull the plug on a managerial gamble that didn't pay off. But he's one of many. When are the Eagles going to aim for some long-term stability? Roy Hodgson looks set to take over, but despite being an experienced tactician and coach, will the former England boss have the wherewithal to turn it around? The players have looked like they've never met before, while signings have been short-termist at best. Palace are surely still favorites for the drop. Frank De Boer has been sacked by Crystal Palace. Burnley 1-0 Crystal Palace, Lee Chung Yong Howler gifts Burnley win to pile pressure on under fire Eagles boss Frank De Boer. Manchester City enjoyed the party. After Maney's red card, you could see Jurgen Klopp knew it was not going to be a fun afternoon, while the home side were licking their lips. With the score 1-0. It was all to play for at the Etihad, but City are too good. Leroy Sane is proving to be a fantastic Premier League import. 
Manchester City 5-0 Liverpool, Hoguero, Jesus and Sane run riot after questionable Sadio main red card. With Kevin De Bruyne, Leroy Sane, Gabriel Jesus, David Silva and Sergio Aguero, it was always going to be testing. And then with Kyle Walker bombing on on one side and the superb crossing of Benjamin Mendy the other, City were always going to get behind their opponents. It was another warning that City mean business this season and on to bet against them scoring nearly 100 goals. With all the furor surrounding Chelsea's transfer window dealings, Yaud have thought they had become worse overnight. But they have won three and lost one this season and were down to nine men in their opening day defeat to Burnley. Alvaro Morata has plugged in a hole left by absentee striker Diego Costa. Alvaro Morata looks a classy buy, while early goals and assists have helped him settle in. The Champions League starts this week and it remains to be seen how they will cope as the season progresses, particularly if they are still in Europe in March and April. But for now, don't bet against them, they're still a top team. Enjoy it Arsenal fans. IT has been nothing but doom and gloom at Arsenal all summer, so they might as well enjoy this win. A 3-0 win against a good but severely underperforming Bournemouth team was something to smile about. Alexander Lacazette is justifying his price tag at Arsenal. Alexander Lacazette is proving he is a superb finisher, while Danny Welbeck looks like a man on a mission. Arsenal have Chelsea away next up in the Premier League and, given recent results, they have to try and get a result as Stamford Bridge. Marco Silva has the golden touch. They are in the Champions League places and have three clean sheets in three games. And there's signs of a healthy squad with plenty of competition. Marco Silva can afford to smile after Watford's strong start to the season. Will Hughes has barely had a look in since he joined from Derby over the summer, while highly rated Richard Lisson has had to fight his way in. Problem is, if they keep this up, how long will the Hornets be able to hold on to Marco Silva? Spurs far and away a better side. Tottenham's players seem to be able to relax more away from their adopted home. Wembley really is becoming a monkey on their backs, but the trio of Harry Kane, Delali and Christian Eriksen looked at their best in a 3-0 Goodison Park mauling. Christian Eriksen is one of the form stars in the Premier League at the moment. Tottenham's Christian Eriksen really is far superior to Arsenal's Mesut Ozil. Dane Eriksen is in a top streak of form at the moment for both club and country. You have to wonder if those who have said this will be the year Spurs slip up will be made to eat their words once again. Brighton's first win in home goals in the Premier League was a fantastic achievement and most notably for the supporters, who deserve so much credit for pulling the club up by the bootstraps and getting them to this point. Brighton's players celebrate scoring against West Brom. From liquidation to vindication, it's some journey. But they feel short on quality in the squad. If you asked fans right now if they'd take a 17th place finish at the end of the season, they'd bite your hand off. Or, being seagulls, they'd nick your sandwich. <laughs>